I'm so freaking indecisive. guys welcome back to my channel my name is Patti I've been in a funk I am determined to end it I'm trying to start a business and I have been moving forward I have been doing things but it is nowhere near at the pace that I know that I could be performing at right now my business should have been up and running launched it's just like these dumb little steps that I put in my brain that is like you literally cannot do anything until this is done but like it's very hard to get those things done I don't know what's up with my brain I don't know what's wrong I don't know if it's undiagnosed ADHD. I don't know if I'm just unmotivated. In the moment, I know that I'm going through that, but I don't know. It's like I'm kind of oblivious, but not like como que me hago mensa or, but like not really. I don't even make sense right now. Point is, I'm going to force myself to do these steps to start my business and I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me because it'll give me some accountability I know that once I do them I'm gonna be like you know that wasn't that bad I there was stuff I had to figure out but I got it done I have some drawings to finish I want to to organize myself better, to be more consistent on social media. I need to open up my Shopify store. I need to get my business license, register my business, figure out all the legal stuff, like copywriting or trademarking. I don't even know, figure out shipping. There's just so many like little steps, little things that my brain is trying to wrap itself around and it's overwhelming, but you and I can do this. There's a few new designs that I have released. Like I've posted them on social media, but I haven't made stickers. I'm gonna start with updating slash finishing a design. I just wanna add some shading. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Then we're gonna print some stickers and we'll see how far I get. This is the design I'm looking to finish right now. It's like a little street post with the crossroad names of reality with illusion. I made it look like it's melting. So I'm just gonna add some shading to that. And there's like random parts that are erased for some reason. I'm so freaking indecisive. I like it, but at the same time, I'm so indecisive that I, I want to do different versions of it, but there's no time. Technically I could, but I can't keep doing that because then I spend a whole last year in one design, which is what I did with my other designs, and I literally don't get anything done. So I can't do that. I'm rambling too much. I'm gonna just get back to work and get her done. It took longer than I thought. I think I finished it up. I added a few details, shaded, highlighted, and whatnot. Now I just gotta add the outline to the sticker, but I am still in the learning process and I haven't found like a good way that I like to outline my stickers. Just kind of learning through this. What I'm really struggling with is the edges with the method. I don't want to draw the outline on because I feel like it comes out a little jagged, but when I do it, via like the actual app they come out smoother but the edges don't like the edges come out round so yeah let me know if you have a hack for that for now i think i'm gonna draw them in. They honestly are so freaking cute. 
the only thing is i think i need to realign my cricket something happened because they have a little they have a little white line right there I don't know if you can see that. It just kind of cut a little bit too much to one side. So that's pretty annoying. I'm also messing around with the sizes. So these are the biggest size. There's like a medium, which are these. And then I have little mini babies. Oh my goodness, they're so tiny. These, I feel like for now, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna be printing minis of all my stickers and they're gonna be like freebies. I honestly don't want to realign my Cricut. It's just a whole process, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. finished calibrating the Cricut machine and it took like five different times to get it where it's like okay I think we're good now I picked up takeout from a local Chinese food place I also made myself five little frozen wontons with some soy sauce I kind of burnt them a little bit oof I've been craving these so let's eat the burnt one first This is lo mein. What the heck is this? I got honey bourbon chicken. I've never gotten this. It's looking like this. Not that appetizing, if I'm being honest. I put on the Matrix. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, I'm a little upset because this show is nasty. I'll, I'll eat that later. This was so freaking gross. This was not good at all. I'm not picky, but that shit was pretty nasty. The noodles are not good either. I had to put a lot of soy sauce in them for me to like them. And I accidentally spilt the chicken sauce. That's fun, love that for me. But at least the movie's good. It is a few days later. I am going to show you guys how I plan on tracking my expenses. So the sheet that you guys see here is something that I got from another business. Their name is Peach Fuzz. I'll post everything down below. But I went ahead and on Google Sheets, I made my own tables and I kind of used that other sheet as a guideline as well as this other YouTube video, which I will also post down below. But I want to just give a little quick a summary of how I'm doing it. So as you guys can see, I already named the different columns for the table and I'm basically going to be taking the receipts that I have so far that I've used for the business. So here I'm copying Canva receipts and just posting that information and filling out all of the columns down below and i do want to mention that i have no idea what i'm doing yes i went to college and i have a degree and i took finance did i really actually learn how to be a bookkeeper no so i'm just doing basics that i did learn that i relearned from watching youtube videos and stuff but doing the best that i can here i am creating a drop down menu of the different categories the IRS taxes based on specific categories that your expenses fall under and those expenses that apply to my business or could apply to my business are the ones that I wrote down. A lot of them don't even apply right now like travel or meals but they might in the future. I just decided to include them so I'm just basically creating a drop down menu so that I can categorize all of my expenses as I'm keeping record of them so that I have track of them for future reference in order to make my life easier when it comes to tax season. This is definitely one of those things that I've heard from other YouTubers and business owners that they wish they would have been able to keep track of sooner in their journey of their business. So it's something that I definitely want to try and stay on top of. Definitely recommend you guys to do so as well because it really does seem because even now that I'm just starting it was 
was a little bit of a headache figuring out what to keep track of and how to. There's still more that I have to figure out, but at least I'm getting a head start in it before even launching my business. At this point, I realized that I need a simple sum formula to make sure that things are being added up automatically for my total expense. I know that the column is labeled net expense. I changed that a little bit later on. You can visually see how I'm doing that on the screen. I know that it's a little bit blurry and I'm so sorry. I do not know why it's happening, but I hope that it's clear enough for you guys to be able to see. Here I'm doing another simple sum formula to add up the entire column of uh, expenses and net expenses. Again here I have them mixed up with the name. Again I do not remember <laughs> that much from school so I'm so sorry but I'm figuring it out little by little and we're making it happen. In case you were or are confused just like I was, total expenses is the total amount including taxes net expenses is the amount that you were charged minus taxes that's basically the difference there moving on to the second sheet that i have here this is basically my profit and loss statement where i'm going to be able to see the amount that i'm spending on each type of category and how I'm going to keep track of this is by using this formula and this formula is essentially going to take information from my first sheet and it's going to add up all the amounts from that category and put them into each of these spaces. That first one is advertising and I don't have anything with advertising so far so it's showing up as zero. And then I'm taking this formula and dragging it down to paste it on all of the rows here. And all I'm gonna do is go into each individual row and change the wording of each column. So on travel, I'm gonna change it to travel, meals, change it to meals, and etc. So as you can see here with supplies, I changed that and because i already have expenses under the category of supplies there is an amount showing up and here in the other page you can see those two numbers are being added up and that is the amount that is showing up on this second sheet to add up the total for that specific expense category we are back at it again with a simple sum formula just adding up all those category totals something else i want to make sure i'm keeping track of is cost of goods sold and i had originally made a separate table to keep track of that but i decided to add a couple columns to my original table just to keep it a little bit more concise i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna be keeping track because i do have raw materials for now i think this is gonna be good enough and we will be adjusting and improving and of course i will fill you guys in if that does happen but for now i made a column to be able to identify if the expense mentioned is a cost of goods sold or if it's not basically anything that is used to make the actual product and is an expense to produce that or make it that is considered a cost of goods sold you can look up a better definition than that but that is the general idea also i'm keeping track of the category of the cost of goods sold with this ideally i would want to know the cost of each individual product i sell but for now i'm only going to be keeping track of the different categories which right now for my business is going to be stationary and apparel. So 
I am currently editing the video you are watching right now. I originally was planning to include more of the steps that I'm taking to before launching my business, but I think it's long enough for now. So stay tuned for part two. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful or entertaining in some way. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see or are curious about or anything I could go more in depth with. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you guys next time.